What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are at Frank & Sons Collectible Show, which is pretty much a giant uh, collectible warehouse. And over here, there's a bunch of anime figures. So for this video, I'm just gonna show you guys what anime merch they have around here. Uh, we did a video here before, so it's kind of like we're gonna see if anything changed or not. But yeah, hopefully it's a good time. I think it will be, and let's see what they got. Um, so contrary to what I said in the beginning, um, I really didn't have a good time here. I was very, very disappointed. And let me preface this by saying this was just for the anime figure section only. Okay, if you're into cards, if you're into like Marvel collectibles, sports collectibles, I'm pretty sure this is a pretty good place for you. But strictly speaking on the anime stuff, um, I was very, very disappointed. The thing was, when I first came to this place, um, I was like really like in awe of everything. Like I had never seen this many anime figures in a single place before, um, aside from maybe Anime Jungle. But even then, this was bigger. It was like a Costco for anime figures and stuff. But the more and more I've found myself coming, uh, the more and more I found myself disappointed because honestly at this place there are only like two legit anime vendors um, who sell their figures for reasonable prices that being Toy Arena and Nin Nin Game so if you're there uh, those two are probably the places you want to be at but aside from that um, it's a lot of overpriced figures I mean price figures here that are like 20 30 bucks they they go for like 40 to 80 dollars i mean i've even seen a hatsune miku bunny figure here um the bunny prize figure not even the scale not even the one four scale the bunny prize figure go for a hundred dollars when i could easily find it at somewhere like sakura anime toys for like 40 or 35 bucks so it's just like an extremely bad price gouge on figures at this place i mean look at this clee 475 dollars are we being for real i know it retailed at 250 but 475 is is crazy um but yeah it's it's an insane price gouge at this place and i honestly would not recommend buying anime figures here you would be more inclined to i would be more inclined to buy them online because it's a lot cheaper the shipping is pretty safe and you'd find a pretty good deal on stuff online instead of going here, to be honest. The other thing that I had a very big issue with was that there was a lot of fake figures on sale. I mean, there were bunny figures, one for scale freeing bunny figures, quote unquote freeing bunny figures because they weren't real, but there were bunny figures going for like $80. That I have never heard of. I mean, freeing bunny figures are usually... 250,000 yen and up i mean them going for 80 dollars it's insane and then look at this look at this right here 40 dollars for price figure 75 dollars for that price figure 250 dollars i mean the prices are are ridiculous and honestly yeah would not recommend it there was also a lot of stolen art uh over here that people were selling as posters which is something that I don't really get down with because you're not buying from the artist. You should be supporting who made the art, in all honesty. Um, but yeah, I saw a lot of a lot of stolen art and from artists that I also follow on Twitter, which was kind of disheartening, kind of disappointing, but not something that I wasn't aware of when I first came here. Um, but I just thought that I would talk about it in this video here. But if you're into cards, um, I must say that there are a lot of pretty good card vendors here, uh, especially if you're into the Weiss Schwartz cards and all of that. The Weiss Schwartz cards are the ones who have the signed anime cards. Uh, those are, the, the prices are pretty good over here and they do have buyers here. If you get a signed card, you can sell it back for even more money or if you wanna keep it, you could. But yeah i just wouldn't recommend buying anime merch here because one you don't know if it's real two it's extremely overpriced i mean like i've been saying and then three you could definitely find them for cheaper online so yeah it's it's not the best place however if i could look at some positives uh, like i said toy arena has some of the best prices in the game. I mean, they have scale figures for like retail price. 
They had like a Minato Aqua, which I was looking for for 150, which is about what she's going for. They have a bunch of Nendoroids there, which is incredible. I mean, a bunch of Nendoroids, and the selection is crazy. And the prices are good. They had a Gargura and Android for like $65, which is uh, probably what she goes for. Um, or maybe just very slightly over, like five bucks over retail, what she goes for. Um, so. I would definitely recommend Toy Arena, and then Nin Nin Game has a bunch of um, scale figures and prize figures if you're into that for very reasonable prices. I'm not sure if they're a good smile partner, um, that's what I heard, but I can't confirm, but I did hear that they are a good smile partner, so I would recommend go go buy go go buy figures from there if you're gonna be over here but yeah here's toy arena and you can see like they have a great selection of figures for like very reasonable prices for these ones behind the cage you just have to ask uh, the guy at the desk if you want to know the price and then he'll give you the price and it's usually pretty good but yeah i don't mean to be so negative in this video um i just wanted to shed some light because I do know that a lot of people um, do buy anime stuff from these places <clears throat> but the fact of the matter is that they are pretty predatory when it comes to pricing because they probably know that people aren't as well versed or as well educated as they should be with um, the value of price figures or the value of nendroids the value of figmas the value of scale figures they probably don't know like the hierarchy of like the quality and you know you get what you pay for um usually is the case i mean not here though because when you pay a hundred dollars for a price figure you're definitely not getting what you paid for but yeah i just wanted to make this video to you know make people more aware to be more careful when you're shopping uh in store at places like these because they're definitely um trying to make a profit which is you know i get it but you could definitely be saving money elsewhere um, but if you really want to buy from here which i get because the atmosphere is pretty nice you're surrounded by a bunch of like people with the same interests then yeah go ahead and buy from these places it's just me personally i wouldn't considering um what i know about um all the different types of figures oh and i also forgot to mention that uh, another reason that i wouldn't come back here is because the this isn't a meme or anything but the smell was it was crazy there i mean <laughs> i know this sounds like i'm trolling but the smell was crazy there um yeah but again let me just re reiterate this is just for the anime figure and anime merch stuff there Okay, it's not for the sports cards, it's not for the trading cards, it's not for, you know, the Marvel collectibles, the Funko Pops there, because I don't really have an idea of what that's about, but I'm sure that the prices are a lot better than the anime figures, so, yeah, just be weary of where you're buying, and be weary um, of what you're using your money to buy if it's a prize figure in my opinion it should be between you know 20 to 40 dollars max um if it's a core full figure or a premium like ben presto figure the max is probably 70 80 bucks and then you know nendroids are usually 50 to not even 50 they're usually 40 to 60 dollars uh, unless it's a dx version then they're probably towards closer towards the 80 dollar range and then figmas are usually 100 dollars and scales you know they're the most expensive but yeah just be weary of where you shop is what i'm trying to say um and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video all right y'all that's pretty much it for the video uh next to jeffrey the giraffe and his giant r because this place reeks uh if you enjoyed it i hope you did because i didn't um but thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good stuff uh hopefully i never have to come back here because this place reeks. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.